today I'm here with a new video and today we are going to talk about eyeshadow palettes. I am going to show you eyeshadow palettes from five different brands and show my best palette and the worst palette. The palette I like the most and the palette I like the least. And I have picked out five brands and I think these are kind of my top five <laughs> brands when it comes to eyeshadow. So I think we just get started. And I'm going to start with Colourpop. And I'm going to show like the best and the worst together. So go by brand. Yeah, I think so. So the worst one from Colourpop. I... Okay, we can say it like this. When I have done like ranking my Colourpop videos, I don't think this was in the bottom. I'm not sure, but this is one palette that... I wouldn't mind to decluttering, but I don't want to, but if somebody like forced me to decluttering Colourpop palette, it would be this one. And it is the Zodiac palette that was in collab with Kathleen Lights. I actually did a series with this last year where I used the shades. I did a makeup look with one of the shades for each month. And why I don't like this palette? This is such a strange formula. Like, some of the mattes in this are amazing, and some of the shimmers in this is also amazing. And then there is shadows in this that are... they are so freaking bad. They are, like, hard to work with. And for, like, the shimmers, I was really looking forward to this shade. It is shit. It's just such a bad shade and I think this is a very hard palette to do something fun with. I don't know. I love some of the shades. Like this Gemini shade is one of my favorite gold shades. But... If... No. It's not a good palette and... It's just not good. So to pick my favorite from Colourpop was kind of hard, but I think this is still the best palette I think that Colourpop has done, and it is the good sport. Good sport palette. I've done free looks, free looks one palette with this. It looks like this for you who doesn't know, and this ebb shade, I can talk about this like forever because it is my absolute favorite shade like full times almost and the thing with this one all the shimmers in this are amazing some of these purple are a little bit drier but it's like the same quality and all the palette and you can do this color pop but then you do like the zodiac palette and i'm like what are you doing so this is my favorite palette from color pop i'm really liking this i don't know why Colourpop did discontinue this because I know that a lot of people want it and it is a really really good palette. Next up I'm going to talk about Nabla and the palette I like the least from Nabla. I think a lot of people would say Poison Garden because the shitstorm with that palette in fine. But I am actually going to say the cute palette um, nude. And it's just because I, I don't know what to do with this. I guess for somebody that do like a neutral look each day for work, this is perfect. For me, it's not. And I think it's... I don't know what I'm missing with this one. But it is something. And this is not just the palette that I reach for. Like, ever. So this is the palette I like the least from Nabla. It is a good palette, but it's just not for me. And the palette I like the most from Nabla, it's the Secret palette. I don't know what it is with this palette, but I just love it. It looks like this. This is such an amazing palette. I like... can't... I don't know what it is with it, because it's not that special. But I really, really, really like it. I don't know if it is because it has some colorful shades that I really like and it has like this shade because this is I love these kinds of shade and it has a black and it's this is just a really really good palette and I really really love it and the formula is amazing on this one 
So this is my favorite palette from Nabla. It's the best palette they've done. I love it. Then we can go into Kaleidos. And this was hard. <laughs> but I think the palette I like the least from Kaleidos is the Sashimi City. And this is mainly because of the color story. It looks like this. Mine came smashed. I could press it together. The two shimmers were like all cracked. But... It's nothing wrong with the shades, it's just like, not for me. It's like the same as the Cutie palette from Nabla, the nude one. It's a good palette, I understand why they did this palette, because they wanted to do something for people that might not use color that much. So it is a good palette, but it's not my favorite palette. And my favorite palette from Kaleidos, this was like <laughs> even harder I think. But I choose Sci-Fi Green. It's what I have on today. And this was the first palette I tried from Kaleidos. The first shades I ever tried. And this was like when I started to like green. And it's just something about this, this that I really, really love. The two shimmers are amazing. I have this greenish one on my eyes. The other one is so so good the black is amazing in this palette and i just really really love it i can recommend this to everybody and if you even don't like green just buy this and i think you will start to like green then we i am talking about us place and if you haven't seen like me ever talk about us place palettes i think you know the, f the palette I like the least and the palette I like the most. The least is the Doucet palette. I I just don't like this palette. I know some of my friends really love this and I'm like, what is there to love? It looks like this. This is, I think, their most unique for their own brand. Uh, US Place hasn't like done any other palette that looks like this. I like some of the shades in this palette, and I like the shades that's maybe not my typical shades. I love this dark brown, and this one is also amazing. The shimmers in this one is not like Yves Place normal shimmers. The mattes are okay, but it's like only almost neutral mattes. This one, not super impressed by. So no, I don't know what people that really like this palette sees in this palette because I don't see shit. And my favorite one is the Tribe. <laughs> they have discontinued this. It looks like this. This has everything I love. It has like a light green. It has an orange. It has this color that I don't know what it is, but I love it. It has some cool duochromes, like this one. Can you see this? It's, it's like a little bit of green in it. And this one, if I could marry a shade, I would go in a marriage with Ebb. This one, I think. And you can do a really, really dark dark green look with this i just love this palette so this is still my favorite us place palette and i don't know why and who made the decision to discontinue that it's crazy and the last brand i'm going to talk about is menagerie and it was hard to pick the palette that I like the least, but I took Killer Pearl. And there is a lot with this palette that I don't like. The name of it, I, I seem to be the only one, but I hate it. Killer Pearl. I don't want to bash on Menagerie, not at all, but it, I don't like the name. I love the lines on it, but the name, and the palette looks like this. And why I like this the least, it's just because I don't know. I don't open this and be like inspired by it. It's just like I open it and 
Okay, these are the shades. It's nothing wrong with it, but I don't feel inspired when I look at it. And if it wasn't Menagerie, I don't think I would have purchased this palette, actually. Because I, I don't know, but I have never liked picked it up. I think I've used it once or maybe twice. I've used some shades. Yeah, I've used it, yeah, say twice. But my favorite palette from Nardri is actually Whale Song. I this was the time where I like discovered green and blue and I got this and <sighs> I love this. I've done free looks one palette with this one. And now I'm sure of that because I know that I've done it. And the thing I really love about this, especially Skelp and Plankton. They are amazing, they are grungy, they are cool, they are green, they are dirty, they are... Mm. I just love them. And like this fluke, amazing. And the darker blues are really good for be darker blues. Darker blues can be a little bit tricky to work with, but they are really good. And one thing that I really like about this and what made me like start to like it in the beginning because this was also when I discovered green and blue. I think I did say that. <laughs> yeah. It is easy for someone that aren't that used to work with the green and blue colors and just do... It's easy to see like, okay, this is a good green look. You can just use these three and it would be a really cool look. Or you can use these and if you want to do a blue look, you can take these colors. And if you want to make it grungy, you can take plankton kelp and might like deepen it down with bubble net. So I really like it, even though I'm pretty used to now work with blues and greens. Sometimes I just like to see like, it's so obvious. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I really like this palette. The shimmers are really, really good. All the shadows blends amazing. I I love this palette from Nordry. And I love the front of it. I have something for sea creatures. I don't know why, but they like amaze me. And yeah, that was five brands where I like the palettes I like the most and the least. I I'm so bad to like come to what I want to say. I can blame it that English is not my first language. I just do it. But yeah, I really hope you like this video. And do you have any of these palettes? What do you think about them? And you can also tell me like... Brain fart. It's like poo. Like some of your favorite brands and the palettes you like the least and the most. And do you think I'm wrong? I think I'm right because I am right. But yeah. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!